It came to pass in the latter end of the 17th year, there came a man into the land of Zarahemla, and he was anti-Christ. For he began to preach unto the people against the prophecies which had been spoken by the prophets concerning the coming of Christ. Why do you look for a Christ? For no man can know of anything which is to come. Behold, ye cannot know of things which ye do not see. Therefore ye cannot know that there shall be a Christ. Ye look forward and say ye see a remission of your sins? And many more such things did he say unto them, telling them that there could be no atonement made for the sins of men. But every man fared in this life according to the management of the creature. Therefore every man prospered according to his genius, and that every man conquered according to his strength. And whatsoever a man did was no crime. And thus he did preach unto them, leading away the hearts of many, causing them to lift up their heads in their wickedness, yea, leading away many women and also men to commit whoredoms, telling them that when a man was dead, that was the end thereof. And he came over into the land of Gideon and began to preach unto them also. And here he did not have much success, for he was taken and bound and carried before the high priest and also the chief judge over the land. Why? Why do you go about perverting the ways of the Lord? Why do you teach this people that there shall be no Christ? To interrupt their rejoicings? Why? Why do you speak against all the prophecies of the holy prophets? Because I do not teach the foolish traditions of your fathers. And because I do not teach this people to bind themselves down under the foolish ordinances and performances which were laid down by ancient priests, to usurp power and authority over them, to keep them in ignorance that they must not lift up their heads, but be brought down according to thy words. Ye say that this people is a free people? Behold, I say they are in bondage. And ye say that these ancient prophecies are true? Behold, I say that ye do not know that they are true. And these people are a guilty and a fallen people because of the transgression of a parent. Behold, I say that a child is not guilty because of its parents. And ye also say that Christ shall come, and he shall be slain for the sins of the world. And thus ye lead away this people after the foolish traditions of your fathers, and according to your own desires, and keep them down, even as it were in bondage, that ye may glut yourselves with the labors of their hands that they durst not look up with boldness, and that they durst not enjoy their rights and privileges. Yea, they durst not make use of that which is their own, lest they should offend their priests, who do yoke them according to their desires, and have brought them to believe by their traditions, and their dreams, and their whims, and their visions, and their pretended mysteries, that they should, if they do not do according to their words, offend some unknown being who they say is God, a being who never has been seen Enough. or known, who never was, nor ever will be. Enough. Now when the high priest and chief judge saw the hardness of his heart, yea, when they saw that he would revile even against God, they would not make any reply to his words, but they caused that he should be bound, and they delivered him up into the hands of the officers and sent him to the land of Zarahemla, that he might be brought before Alma and the chief judge who was governor over all the land. Why do ye lead away this people after the silly traditions of your fathers? Ye keep them down in bondage, Silence. that ye may glut yourselves with the labors of their hands, that they durst not look up with boldness and enjoy their rights and privileges. Thou knowest that we do not glut ourselves on the labors of these people. For behold, I have labored even from the commencement of the reign of judges until now with my own hands for my support notwithstanding my many travels round about the land to declare the word of God among my people, and notwithstanding my many labors which I have performed in the church, I have never received even so much as one senine for my labor. Now, if we do not receive anything for our labors in the church, what doth it profit us to labor in the church, save it were to declare the truth we may have rejoicing in the joy of our brother. And why sayest thou that we preach to get gain, when thou of thyself knowest that we receive no gain?
believest thou that we deceive this people? That causes such joy in their hearts? Yea. Make them keep it down. Quiet down! Believest thou that there is a God? Nay. Will ye deny again that there is a God and also deny the Christ? For behold, I say unto you, I know there is a God, and also that Christ shall come. What evidence have ye that there is no God, or that Christ cometh not? I say unto you, ye have none, save your word only. But behold, I have all things as a testimony that these things are true. And ye also have all things as a testimony that they are true. And will ye deny them? Believest thou these things are true? I know that thou believest, but thou art possessed with a lying spirit, and ye have put off the Spirit of God that it may have no place in you. But the devil has power over you, and he doth carry you about, working devices to destroy the children of God. If thou wilt show unto me a sign, that I may be convinced that there is a God, yea, show unto me he hath power, and then I will be convinced of the truth of thy words. Thou hast had signs enough. Will ye tempt your God? The scriptures are laid before thee. All things denote there is a God. Even the earth and all things upon the face of it and its motion, and also all the planets which move in their regular form, do witness there is a supreme creator. And yet ye go about leading away the hearts of this people, testifying unto them there is no God. Yet will ye deny against all these witnesses? Nay, I will deny unless ye show me a sign. I am grieved because of the hardness of your heart, that ye will still resist the spirit of truth, that thy soul shall be destroyed. But behold, it is better that thy soul should be lost than that thou shouldest be the means of bringing many souls down to destruction by thy flattering words. Therefore, if ye shall deny again, God shall smite thee that thou shalt become dumb, that thou shalt never open thy mouth any more, and that thou shalt not deceive this people any more. I do not deny the existence of a God. but I do not believe that there is a God. And I say that ye do not know that there is a God, and except ye show me a sign, I will not believe. This will I give unto thee for a sign, that thou shalt be struck dumb according to my words. In the name of God, ye shall be struck dumb, that ye shall no more have utterance. When the chief judge saw this, he put forth his hand and wrote unto Korihor, saying, Art thou convinced of the power of God? In whom did ye desire that Alma should show forth his sign? Behold, he has showed unto you a sign, and now will ye dispute more. And now Korihor put forth his hand and wrote, I know that nothing save it were the power of God could bring this upon me. Yea, and I always knew that there was a God. 
But behold, the devil hath deceived me, and he taught me that which I should say. And I taught them insomuch that I verily believed that they were true. And for this cause I withstood the truth, even until I have brought this great curse upon me. And it came to pass that they were all convinced of the wickedness of Korahor. Therefore they were all converted again unto the Lord. And Korahor did go about from house to house, begging food for his support among a people who had separated themselves from the Nephites. And as he went forth amongst them, behold, he was run upon and trodden down, even until he was dead. And thus we see the end of him who perverteth the ways of the Lord. And thus we see that the devil will not support his children at the last day, but doth speedily drag them down to hell. <laughs>